Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Isaac the Wolf. You know, things have been kind of odd as of late. I am a Sonic fanboy, but not in the sense that I really give two craps about the voice actor. It's the last thing I really care about, because voice acting does not make or break a game. It, if anything, it's more of a finishing touch, and it's not necessarily to the gameplay if the characters do not indeed need to talk. Read some subtitles, people. Now, that being said... I've noticed people have actually blamed the f epic fail of such a game as Sonic 2K6 on the lame voice actors. Are you people that stupid? Okay, there are many, many, many flaws with that game, and with so far overall with the Sonic series. Now, mind you, and this is good, this is just my fanboy isn't coming out, and forgive me, I'm sorry. This picture you see right now. It is a Son Amy. I am a Shad Amy fan. I've said it before. I had, again, Shad Amy. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just a Shad Amy fan. I'm choosing Son Son Amy because that's the only one I can find on short notice. Now, I'm gonna run off three of the big flaws of the of the Sonic of the um what's it called Sonic series, and namely aiming at Sonic 2K6 because there was a lot of good ones. I liked the Sonic Adventure series and the original so, uh, the original games. Even Sonic CD, and I wasn't really that big a fan of that, and please do not crucify me for that, I just never was one. Okay, that being said, roll the title screen! The Ziggy the Wolf Show! Today's subject, Flaws in the Sonic series. My opinions. Deal with it. Okay, here we go. Part 1. Crazy Fanboys. Now, okay, as I said before, and you may think I'm sounding kind of hypocritical, but I am indeed a Sonic fanboy. I'm not going to go nuts if you have a bad comment about him. I just really, really like the games. I really, really like the characters. Well, most of them, for the most part. Um, now, people flaming others here, uh, here on YouTube and other forums I decided to put this one on. Um, flaming other people just because they don't like it. Or, or, or which is a big pay, pet peeve of mine, complaining... That the voice actors suck. I don't give a crap about the voice actors. There is no voice actor. I worship only two voice actors. Dan Green. I can't help it. That dude just awesomeness. And Rena Chan. She has her, I don't know her real name, but she's a, she's an awesome voice actor. She's done the Metal, Metal Gear Awesome series. And like a whole bunch of other things on the internet and TV as well. Now, uh, those two voice actors deserve a giant sugary piece of cake or other sugary treat of their choice. Paid for by me. Now, thing is, it's kind of becoming a pain because if you say you're a fanboy, it's like a curse now. It's like a lot of things on YouTube. If you say you're something, it's like kind of like getting, it's kind of like putting the barrel in your mouth because there's someone who's gonna pull that trigger and and, and screw it up for you. For every one good fanboy. The thousand other terrible fanboys who only care about voice actors and stuff like that thinking that makes or breaks a game. It doesn't. Like I said earlier, it only makes a polish, if anything. If what the crap's his name's voicing it, nobody likes him, and, and the one guy who everybody likes to voicing him, too bad, so freaking well. You can't do anything about it. It's his choice to take the role. It's, his, it's Sega's choice to offer it. If one party does not agree with what you have to say, you can suck it. Because that's basically all you can do. You can suck it. <sighs> I mean, come on, people. You think Sega has gives a flying crap about what you have to say. I think they take all your little complaint messages, even if they're emails. I think they print them out, put them in a giant bag, and throw it in a, in a big bonfire so they can toast their, marsh uh, their gold-plated marshmallows. They don't care about you. Sonic Team is so busy. Is the guy? The guys on Sonic Team are too busy trying to hire uh, hiring prostitutes, and and the other and the, the women are too busy probably doing something more enjoyable instead of releasing the same game every freaking time. Oh my god. Okay, part two. Too many characters. I mean, like. A couple was fine, like I think it hit. I think it hit his best cast in Sonic Adventure 2, with the exception of Cream, because I mean I kind of like her, the cute little innocent character in the storyline. That's not a complete fucking stalker. 
I mean, come on. We all know Amy is a stalker. She has to be. That girl's off her rocker. Now, thing is, once you weigh down a series with too many characters, it starts becoming less fun because you start because you start seeing a thousand different storylines. And even though Sonic, Sonic 2006 actually tried to cut down the character roster, they still did a terrible job of it. I mean, you still play with all the unnecessary, unnecessary characters and inconsequential events. I mean, first level, you you had to stop a whale from escaping because Sonic was on his back. I don't care if Sonic drowned. It's not important to game... Well, actually, it would be kind of funny and kind of would screw up the gameplay if Sonic drowned. Ugh. But, I mean, come on. I mean, big? Uh... But well, really, just pretty much big was like the worst character idea ever. His gameplay was just too slow and horrible. It was just plain terrible. I mean, who, if you want to fish, buy the Bassmaster games. Or, I don't know, go fishing. Hell, play Go Fish. One way or another, I'm glad they never put him in another game. And I don't even know what they're doing with that Gamma robot. I can't remember his name to save my life. The little robot Eggman created that actually turned against him and joined Amy and Cream and all them and helped save everybody. Or was destroyed. I don't remember. Nor do I care. Man. Narrow down the characters. Please. And now, part three. And possibly worst car Sonic, Sonic character ever. Silver, I mean, he's not fun to play with. He has as much personality as cardboard. And I mean, short of his short of his mediocre psychic powers, he's really he really has no use to even be in the story, short of his future storyline, which isn't that fun to play with. And just to add just to try to add some like half ass platforming detail to an RA with the really bad controls and really, 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 really lame hit detection and and lock on, which he doesn't have. Yet Shadow and Sonic both have lock on. I think I haven't played through the Shadow storyline yet because Sonic takes way too damn long, and I'm half and like I'm I'm half assing it through Silver because it's I, I just don't like him. He sucks ass. He's not fun to play with, and he's really he's really really lame. And some may say that well well you just don't understand how to use him. No, you're delusional. I can't figure out how to play with that lame old. And his and okay, I'm sorry for saying this, but his voice is just really, really, really annoying. He has way too much pseudo teen angst shoved in there. It's not funny. And I really wish some. I'm really glad, hoping, hoping, and praying he makes absolutely no more appearance ever, 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 ever again in a Sonic game because he's just lame. And also, before anybody else flames me for what I for for the, what I said before about Big, I know Big showed up in Sonic Heroes. I know, and so did Gamma, I think. Yeah, he showed up in Sonic Heroes also. Do not bug me because of that. I just remembered that, okay? But back to Silver. He sucks. His powers aren't that great. You're expecting some big, like, Devil May Cry 4 cinematic, but he's really not that useful, and he's super freaking cheap when you had to fight him the first time. Because, of course, the stupid hit detection, when you hit your character, Sonic, if you don't tell him where to go, Sonic will bounce straight up and right down onto, the, right down onto him. And then, he'll use, then he'll say that super line, it's no use, and fling you. And then just to be a pain, he'll fling you up. And when you fall, he'll catch you again in the same exact line and throw you and then kill you. Because you can't get to your rings. Hence making the game unbearably annoying and unbearably lame. So, yeah, I mean, more Amy would be nice. And make her faster, change her persona, because she's really, really... A, it, I, I love Amy, and you may say, she's not real. I don't care. She's a cool character, and she and she really has... We all have been in her spot, the crazy stalker. I know I have. Well, yeah, I mean, Silver Blows, and all of you can agree with me. I don't care. And if you don't, I don't care. So, all in all... Yeah, that's one of the one of the that's one of the three things that bug me. I could run on an entire list, but I don't have enough time in this video. So yeah, uh, Silver sucks, too many characters, and uh, hmm, crazy fanboy. Stop it, please. And if you like what I say, subscribe, rate, please. Thank you. Have a nice fucking day and a pleasant tomorrow. Goodbye. This has been a Ziggy the Wolf presentation.